Um, hey everyone, welcome. This is Sheena with uh, Crooked Calligraphy and I am here today with Claire. She was um, one of my kick-ass students in my Modern Calligraphy 101 um, beginner online course and I was just so so impressed with how well she did in the course and what she has been able to do with her calligraphy after the course. So hey Claire. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh good. Can you just introduce yourself um, briefly for, for everyone? Yeah, I live, uh, I live in, in London, just outside of London, and, uh, and I work, I work full time, so um, I'm just kind of beginning my calligraphy journey, really. Amazing. Yeah. So um, what was your experience with calligraphy before taking Modern Calligraphy 101? You had done a bit, right, on your own? I had, yeah. So um, basically, before I found you, I did a two and a half hour um like a saturday morning workshop it kind of took me so far and then i just plateaued and it did and nothing i couldn't improve anything i couldn't seem to change anything i knew it wasn't looking right looking back i can see exactly what the problem was uh, which you then when i covered your course it was like you know a light bulb going off it's like well of course that's not what I'm doing and that's what I need to do. Oh. Actually, I find I'm more focused with an online course. Mm. And I did feel that with your one, it was kind of, um, it was the best of both worlds because you get the assistance, you get the help, you mm -hmm. get the personalized help, which I really wasn't expecting. Um, and yet you get the luxury of taking it at your own pace. Ooh. What made you decide to take my course, Modern Calligraphy 101? I was definitely looking to do an online course. And um, I, th I think I literally just did a, a search, an internet search. Mm -hmm. And I, was, I did do another one, actually. I did do another one. I forgot about this. I did one before I came to you uh -huh. for literally about three days. And... I mean, I lasted, I must have done about 15 minutes before I thought I was going to go mad. And, and I paid for it and I didn't do it. And oh, okay. I sort of ditched it because it just wasn't for me. And so then I started looking again and I found your one. And I just thought, having had that other online experience where it was very rigid, quite formal, um, very elegant, very... Mm -hmm beautiful very calm yeah but I mean I was going up the walls and I think you were doing an advert for the 101 and I looked at it and I just thought no this is much more me and this looks fun and it looks like you know I'll get something out of it I knew I'd get something out of it even if it was just having a bit of fun along the way oh, yeah. and, um, and then but I thought no this looks something that will engage me as well and um, and I thought I'd give it a go because it looked like it was going to be not the usual thing, which I found a lot of places do, which is mm. the drills endlessly. Yeah. Um, to the point where where Ben, my husband, came into the kitchen one night back from work at one o'clock in the morning, and I and, and I had a video going on on my on my screen, and it was just going light up heavy down and literally <laughs> two hours and he came in and he went still still <laughs> heavy down I went I've got to find another one and then <laughs> you. <laughs> um what are some of the other things that found helped you along like motivated you to actually keep with the course what I liked was it was structured, but, but not, it wasn't the end of the world if, if you crammed it all into a Saturday morning. And so for me, it was that, okay, if I want the feedback, which was the other thing that really kept me on it. Mm -hmm. um, if I want the feedback, I need to get my work in by a Sunday night for you, because I'm on such a different time zone. So, um, so I knew I had to do that. And that was my focus. And so that really kept me into it. And feedback, I found probably the most helpful thing and the most focused thing, which really got me, because I thought if I, if I didn't get my work in, I, I won't get that personalized feedback. And 
Um, and it was, it was constructive feedback. That was so important for me. I found that the way that my work was critiqued, other people's work was critiqued, that was all shared, but in a really nice, encouraging, supportive way. Cool. Um, I found that incredibly helpful. Awesome. Okay. Well, let's talk about what you were able to learn and do with your calligraphy afterwards. So did you notice a huge um, improvement before Ma and after? During, about week three. Uh-huh. It, it just, you know, just the spacing and the giving some air between the whole thing. It wasn't so small and cramped. And, and yeah, I noticed a real improvement in consistency Ooh. in my connecting strokes. And um, it just looked better. And that was kind of, that, that came really, you know, yeah, about week three, week four. Okay. Um, and then what it also did was gave me the confidence so that after the course, I could... I carried on improving and because, I know <laughs> and I still I still have you know I I printed out the other day all the printouts again because I want to go back and just consolidate all of those things and that's the other joy is that you get to go back you get to print it out again you get to do it all again if you want to um, and just go over so yeah I'm still I'm still doing I do a bit of calligraphy every day I still I'm loving it and I'm doing bits and pieces for people um oh, cool. tell me more about that a friend of mine who who knew that I was doing this uh sent me a message going so Claire I've got your first calligraphy job for you um meet so-and-so so-and-so meet Claire and uh, she's getting married in a few months time so over to you and I sort of went, ah. <laughs> oh, not really ready for this. And um, I'm do it anyway. I, I did it anyway. And so I ended up doing the table plan, doing 130 place, um, uh, what did I do? Oh, little um, welcome cards yeah. with, with calligraphy on them. I did the place cards for the top table. Um, so I did, yeah, that was quite a lot for my first job. Yeah. And it was a learning curve. And I, but I gave at the end of, cause I'd done the course, I was able to offer the bride, a, a, like a choice of a couple of styles. Oh. Um, confident doing. Um, but you got paid. So that's I awesome. Paid, I got paid a lot. I took about 1200 pounds. But I had to quite high, yeah, but oh, I did wow. quite high cost because um, I learned all sorts of things from that about how to price, how to charge, yeah. uh, you know, things like that, which was great. But I did, the, the most relaxing thing about that entire job was doing the calligraphy, to be honest, because I sort of, at that point, kind of felt confident uh, that I could do it. So that was really nice. And I did, yeah. I've done a few other things. I've done a whole lot of press night, opening night cards for a West End show last week, which is why I've not got very far with your 201 calligraphy course because I've been too busy doing <laughs> It's there when you need it. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and that was lovely. Everyone seemed to love those. And I potentially got another couple of jobs out of that. So wow. it's kind of snowballing. Yeah, that's how it goes. Like yeah. word of mouth and like people like your stuff and it just kind of kind of keeps going. That's amazing. So I know you have um, an Instagram page started for your, your career. Oh, it's amazing. It looks amazing, people. <laughs> Check it out. It's Delfont, D-E-L-F-O-N-T underscore lettering for stuff with yeah. something. Um, okay, so that's, I mean, are you, is that something that you're wanting to sort of pursue more or just sort of do for fun, see where it goes? No, I am all out making a plan. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm still gonna work full time. I'm gonna keep that um, money coming in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm now at a point where I think next year I feel confident enough I can, I can really go out to people and say, here I am. It was a lovely moment actually when I did this wedding and I went to set it all out 
that day mm -hmm. and I went in and and they said and there were all these other vendors there like really high-end florists and in a really great restaurant in London and and they said oh and who are you and I said oh I'm the calligrapher yes. and then I <laughs> did a double take and went oh I just yeah. said that <laughs> that's so <laughs> so cool yeah I'm excited to to see how far I can take yeah. it and if I can get it to work okay, and I'm well, sure I'm I'm so excited for where you're going. I'm totally following you and cheering you on. And I like, I love seeing all your, your posts and stuff. Um, so I'm hearing from you. I mean, is modern calligraphy 101 something you would recommend? To everyone, to everyone. And it's, it's just, um, it's, it's just the convenience and just give it a go, you know, and also it, give it a go, whether you want to do it as, a career, whether you want a creative outlook, whether you just want something to do that switches your brain off that you have to focus on, that just lets you go, oh, at the end of the day. Um, it's brilliant for all that and it's so much fun and it's such a supportive community, so I say do it. Yay. Um, and just to clarify, were you thinking going into calligraphy that you wanted to make it into a business or did that come later? No, when I first started, no. It turned into that since I've seen that maybe I could do it. Oh, okay. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. That's so cool That's to hear. So well, thank you. Um, thank you so, so much, Claire, for sitting down and talking with me for a little bit. I cannot wait to see all the stuff that you do with your lettering and, and how far you go. And, and now that you're in 201, you're going to learn even more about styles and, and all that good stuff. But thank you again for being such an awesome student. Thank and you. I'm going to see you around. Yeah, right. definitely. Thanks. Thanks.